What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. And uh, yeah, so I just did like my favorite five tech cards, period, for the format. Uh, now I want to give you some budget options, too. I think that's only fair. And uh, yeah, not everyone wants to pay $80 for a lightning storm. I totally understand that. I don't. I'm not going to. So there you go. Uh, so these are all actually under $3. I thought that's a pretty good parameter for budget. I don't think it gets much better than that. But I think these cards are legitimately pretty good right now uh, against some of the main meta decks. And I'll go over each and every one of them. First one is Skullmeister, man. This card is just kind of taken over. There's so many graveyard effects right now. I th all of the main ones that, you know, Drytron. Um, Zoo doesn't necessarily, so it might not be the best thing against Zoo. Uh, but Virtual World for sure too. And then you can just go down the Eldritch and you can just go down the myriad of lists of decks that use graveyard effects. So uh, this is even a card you might consider main decking right now with just how rampant the graveyard is. So Skullmeister, a huge addition and I'm glad it's an affordable card. I would definitely pick up some copies now. Um, not that I think it's going to jump in price, but I'm not, I don't think it's ever going to dip below 276. Something to consider for sure. Uh, number two is Dark Rule No More. This card just keeps dropping in price, and obviously it comes from a, a structure deck, so it can't maintain some sort of weird price forever. Um, it's a great card. I mean, think of Ra Vanity's Ruler, and I think one of the most popular things going on right now, at least competitive-wise, everyone kind of has their own preference, but I'm specifically thinking about VFD. Uh, some people want to work around Gamma, so this gives you the opportunity to use Dark Rule No More. Uh, in which case, uh, you can obviously stop that. The only issue is, with Dark Rule No More right now, specifically against Virtual World, and this is why it's like the budget version, uh, and you may even want to consider Kaijus in this place too. I just thought I'd... It's either this or Kaijus. I mean, Kaijus are probably better, especially against Virtual World, because uh, actually what you can they can do is, when you activate Dark Rule No More, they can activate Chuche to destroy, even though that doesn't make sense. Uh, but what it does is it allows them to respond because you can't activate you, this card obviously you can't respond with monster effects but if they respond with the trap card then they can respond and then the effect still goes off so uh it's kind of comes down to personal preference there's just you know dark little more is good against so many different decks and it's not guaranteed that your opponent's going to open up chu chat it's not like 100 percent uh i don't even know how likely it is to be honest with you i don't know what the percentage is but I do love this option, just in general, uh, outside of that too, uh, especially when you're playing against uh, De um, Drytron, because uh, it's an out to their basically uh, main way of uh, dealing with stuff, and especially because Orange Light can't activate either. Um, number three is Twin Twisters, and well, this is a really cheap card, right? Um, there's also other options here, obviously Harpy's Feather Duster. That's like seven dollars. So if you don't, uh, if you don't mind spending a little bit extra, then you can do that. But still, I think there's a lot of spell and traps in this format. Maybe not from the like the main meta decks. Although I think Twin Twistering a Tuche or even a Cosmic Cyclone Harpy's is really good. That card really is the crux of the deck. <laughs> if you think about it, they don't have too much disruption during your turn. Uh, other than that. Uh, so if you can get rid of it first, I think you're putting yourself in a very advantageous place. And if you get rid of one of them, there's it's pretty unlikely. Uh, when I'm talking about Chucha, of course, um, the the trap card. I think that's hopefully I'm saying that right. But uh, if you, they usually don't have two copies because they're sending them to the graveyard, obviously to use the effect. And Pot of Desires is a very popular card in that deck. So that's kind of the ideology behind this choice. Besides the fact, yeah, there's other decks other than the top three ones, right? Uh, and Twitch Twisters is always just good, especially if you can have some graveyard effects uh, once you send them off. Uh, but I think I mentioned this earlier, Cyframe Gear Gamma, and uh, yes, it is still under $3. Driver is a cent. <laughs> People are selling it for a, a penny. Um, it's not even worth the paper it's printed on. Uh, this is, like I said, you don't really know, like, when you're playing VFD against VFD, you don't really know whether the, the player prefers to activate it, you know, as soon as possible or wait till you commit something to the board and then do it. Because uh, a lot of players like to play around this. Maybe you want to play both. Maybe you play uh, Kaijus and Cyframe so they don't know and they kind of just have to guess and then you hopefully get lucky with it. But besides the fact of VFD, there's many other different cards uh, that this is very applicable for. 
it's a monster negate from the hand that destroys it. it going second, uh, it, there's not a lot of cards that are better than this one right now. And it's nice that it's so affordable. Uh, so Cyframe Gear Gamma for sure gets my nod for one of my favorite tech budget options right now. And probably going forward for a very long time. And last, I don't think this surprises anyone. If you guys watch my videos, uh, you guys know that this is kind of like my main, like, this is it, man. This card is so good right now. Uh, it's not perfect, but against Bird Up Lyralist, this card literally just wins you the game. Uh, they do Mostly it ends in Appaloosa, Link Karibo, uh, with the Barrier Statue. Doesn't matter if they're all destroyed. You can even add um, Dark Hole to this if you're really so pleased. Uh, if you want, like, three copies of it. Uh, but... Yeah, it's crazy that this card is still limited, by the way. But uh, against Zeus, this is kind of like the best out. There's nothing they can do about it. They kind of just have to cry it out, rethink their life choices, everything like that. Uh, and like I said, Bird Up is a good matchup. Uh, at least you can get rid of it. Uh, your opponent's VFD with Raigeki, I guess, is kind of the solace. I'm not sure you're playing this card against them. Uh, I'm not, I don't think this is a card you're main decking right now. But in this side, it's extremely valuable, and you absolutely should have it, especially because it's only one copy. But yeah, those are all my tech budget options under $3. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you add to this list and uh, what you would take off. Or if you think all these cards are just the greatest thing ever, go ahead. You can leave a subscription and say, like, awesome video or something. <laughs> I'm just joshing you. But I appreciate it, guys, uh, for, for everything. The channel is growing exponentially. This is, like, so wild that I'm, I'm doing this and... How nice you guys have been to me and hopefully you enjoy the content and everything like that i'm gonna keep making it for you and hopefully someday we can get this to a bigger spot but other than that guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you have an absolutely wonderful night